We make swimmable mermaid tails as our full-time job. And here it is making a mermaid tail start to finish. So the very first thing we're gonna do is start by pouring our silicone into our mold. We use dragon skin silicone, which is a special effects silicone. Next thing we have to do is trim all of those pieces up once they're cured. Cure times vary. Some of these cure times take 24 hours, thereabouts. Once it's trimmed, we put it all together. Got a mono pin inside, and here you see we're prepping it for paint. We want to make sure it's nice and clean for painting. It's a silicone-based paint, so it will stick to the silicone. Here's a little time lapse of the painting process. Painting all these bulbs was pretty tedious, but obviously made for a really cool effect. Here's the base coat all finished. And then we have one more really cool thing we're going to do, which is that we are going to add stripes and fins to this. So here it is all finished. We think it turned out so, so cool. I'm gonna show you how I painted this mermaid tail. Here is what the tail looked like before paint. I actually wish I had done a brighter base color because I decided halfway through production on this tail to completely change the design. Here I am just layering up the paint and hoping for the best at this point. You never really know with dark bases how your pigment is gonna show up. I'm really happy with how this tail turned out. I feel like I was able to get the bright tropical colors that I was going for and I'm... Here are a few of the most expensive tails we've ever made. Starting out strong with this tail, this was a custom tail with just a lot of upgrades, including our individually poured and placed dragon scales. We made several hundred of these for this tail alone. This tail also had a lot of fin upgrades, including our lionfish hip fins, which as you can see are absolutely huge. Next up, we have our crystal tail. This was made as a bridal design and it had over 8,000 crystals added by hand. This is by far the most expensive tail we have made and actually sold, and it sold for around 10,000 US dollars. We would eventually like to do a black version of this with dark rainbow iridescent crystals. Lastly, we of course have our LED tail. This tail was a prototype of a whole custom wired LED system that was water safe. The lights did die once we exposed them to salt water, which was incredibly corrosive to the metal components of the wiring, which is why this tail was a prototype and not available for sale. Luckily, the tail still swims beautifully, so it's still getting plenty of use. Yeah.